Hello and welcome to Wave Nation. My name is Nakira Johnson. I will be attending Clemson University and majoring in criminal justice with a focus in criminology and sociology. Today you will be following us as we interview our student leaders. Hey, my name is DJ Epps. I plan on attending Lawrence Dalton Tech to study radiology and get my license to be a licensed note tech. My name is Ayesha Darby and I plan to attend Clark Atlanta University to major in social work. Blazer, you know! My name is Khalil and after graduation I plan to go to college. Probably for theater arts or writing, something like that. Blazers. My name is Zanah and I plan to be an anesthesiologist. My name is Adrian and I plan to attend Coastal Carolina University to major in marine science. Hashtag go Blazers. Hey, my name is Joshua Keeson. Uh, my name is Jim Lee. I plan on going to college and play basketball with a major in uh, physical education and modern sports medicine. Boom. My name is Takai Mini, and at the high school, I plan to serve in the Air Force. My name is Chris and I plan to become a designer home of the Blazers. Blazers. My name is Jermaine Snow and I'll be attending Shaw University and I'll be participating in a Platinum Sound Day. My name is Javen. After I graduate high school, I plan to attend USC and major in health science. I plan to attend Benedict College after high school and major in sports management. Hello, my name is Larissa. After graduating high school, I plan to attend USC Upstate to major in nursing and a minor in psychology. I go Blazers. But everybody around the school call me Beast. What I'm doing after college is I'm playing, but I'm going to play professional sports. I'm studying physical therapy. Hi, my name is India Jackson, and after high school, I plan to go to USC to major in criminology and criminal justice. My name is Ayanla Hill, and I plan to further my education after high school by majoring in political science, because you know how we do it at the U. Good afternoon. My name is Kubis Wilson. My name is Nicholas Brown. My name is Nikara Johnson. And my name is Ayanla Hill, and welcome to our senior Q&A. So I'll be asking each of us a list of questions. And if anyone has a response, they will respond. So the first question is, if you applied, when did you start your college applications? Okay, so I'll go first. Um, when I started applying for college, I started when school started back in August and I applied until the end of December. Um, I probably did about 26 college applications and I got accepted into 21 out of the 26. And I encourage you to start applying as early as possible. Also, if you're interested in honors colleges or any scholarships, make sure you look at the deadlines while you're applying to the scholarship as well. Yeah, start as early as you can because unlike her, I started a little bit late, but I was still in that zone. So it didn't went so bad for me, but if I would have waited a little bit late, it probably wouldn't end out good. And I applied to like 14, and I got accepted into 13 of them, which is good. So. But start as early as you can. You get the most money. Don't be like me. <laughs> I started, I didn't even start. I just applied to two colleges, and that's the college I'm going to, so you can get it up. Well, I applied to about 22. I don't know how much I got accepted. Um. I don't at all. She was just looking for that one. I was just looking for one. I was. So um, I like to advise people to take early action. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Because you know you get your response back quicker. And usually, if you want to do honors colleges, you, right when you get that early action, you're also the first person to be able to do honors college as well. So you get response back quick, and you're one of the first people chosen if you want to participate in all honors colleges. The second question is. Question number two, if you could create one mandatory course for future seniors, what would it be? Well, here at our school, I feel like we need a course called Life Skills because a lot of students don't know how to write in cursive or fill out a check, file taxes. So simple stuff like that would definitely benefit a lot of students in the long run. Also, like a nutrition, well, I think we do got nutrition here, but they don't give it to the students like how they should. 
So I feel like they need the like mandatory nutrition, uh, like a nutrition class to teach you how and like different healthy ways how you could better yourself. So basically like a home economics class. Basically, yeah. They don't get everything but like what they actually need to. Gotta know how to cook. Can't cook can't mm -hmm. have anything. You know how to cook. And wash clothes. Wash dishes. Yeah, that's that's simple though, yeah. Home economics yeah. and basic, like, like your mom should teach you that. Yeah, I mean, Everybody yeah. needs to cook with their parents. Yeah, yeah. That was, um, Some people need a teacher like, in their presence. Like a chef class? Yeah. Like a, yeah. I, one mandatory class that I think, um, a class where it teaches you how to get a job. And what I mean by that is you actually sit there and you fill out applications to jobs. You actually go to an interview with your teacher before you do an actual job interview in person. I feel like that would be very helpful because, be you know, sometimes we do apply for jobs, but we do not know how to conduct ourselves in an interview or anything like that. So I believe that a job interview, you know, a job a class that teaches you how to conduct yourself in an interview and help you do job applications will be. Will be though. Will be. Question number three says, I will always remember. All right, Um, something I'll always remember is probably like the different teachers that helped me on the way here. Like I built a lot of relationships with different teachers and different coaches here because of certain people. And I feel like that would be something I'll probably remember the most. And also the guys, they get on my nerves. Can't forget the guys. Yeah, forget them. <laughs> but guys, man, what I remember, I always remember my coaches and the people told me I couldn't do it. That's that's the main thing. That I remember, main motivation. That's pretty much it. Yeah, it really impacted. No, that's the most thing that probably had an impact on my life. They have a more sentimental. Right, I was gonna say I got hit by a dodgeball, but okay. Oh, we're doing like stuff like that. You can do it, it's anything. Okay. Oh, but wait, since, wait, since wait. we're in the she, sentimental. He got being with a dog ball, though. Middle school. Since we're in the sentimental, you know, area, I will always remember the friendships and relationships that I have built over the last, I'm sorry, over the last four years okay. of being in high school. That is probably a core memory. Right. I will always remember, like everyone said, teachers, um, and FBLA trips. Oh yeah. I. I if you know, you know. If you know, you know. If you're in FBLA, best, you know, trips, trips ever. Right. Best organization to be a part of. It is ten out of ten. I will also remember the advice that I got from my teachers. You know, telling me that I could do it, or telling me what I shouldn't do you know telling me how I could do x y and z better you know you're gonna miss those talks and those <sighs> contradictions right when you grow up when you leave so I think that's what I always remember now moving on from sentimental mm -hmm. where do you see yourself in 10 years in 10 years I hope to be practicing law because by then I should already be done with my undergrad and my law school and have a degree for both. Um, I plan to do criminal defense law. So working with people that's wrongly convicted is one of the main things that I want to do. What do I see myself in 10 years? I see myself in the medical field, being a physical therapist or a chiropractor. Also, like side gigs type stuff, come back to the school on like Friday nights on basketball games, be like a. What do you, what do you call? Speaker? No. A that's athletic true. trainer. Athletic trainer. That's tough. That's fair. I gotta go there. Um, where I see myself in tears is either because I, I do want to study in like medical too, so probably a physical therapist, physical therapy, stuff like that. But if not, probably somewhere overseas playing sports. So I want to play sports too. In about 10 years, I see myself out of college, working for the FBI. I want to work in missing persons. Um, oh. Yeah. You got me. French. 
I got you. Okay. For sure. Yeah. Um, work at missing persons and try to demolish sex trafficking rings and help victims who've been abused and are looking for help. Who was your favorite teacher throughout all of your childhood? Tough question. Mercer, from Winslow Elementary School. Okay. Oh, Miss Pat, my second grade teacher. Love them. Have y'all seen this? I'll make sure I see the video as well. Mm. <clears throat> why, why are they your favorite teacher? Mm. <clears throat> they were just, that was dumb. <laughs> That's them. They were, they um, were it. They that were was it. the pep. Uh -huh. That was like Scotty and Jordan. Oh my God. That's a hard question. It is. The she had so Kobe. many teachers. I'm gonna have to say my favorite teacher throughout high school was Mr. Jimmy Miller. That is because he was family oriented, so he made everybody feel welcome. He was always cracking a joke. And he knew your people too. He knew your people. He knew your granddaddy, your great granddaddy, your mom, your grandma. He knew who your great granddaddy was married to before he got married again. He knew all of that information, so it was never a dull moment with Mr. Miller. And if there was anything that he could do to help you do anything, he would put 100% effort in every time. So that's who I, I would have to say is my favorite teacher. <sighs> High school teachers. Oh, um, bro, <laughs> I'm still. I will. Like okay. High school teachers. I have two that were actually. Well, I have one that was actually my teacher. My favorite teacher throughout high school was Miss Ronarani. Favorite teacher, she was a bi our biology teacher. I miss her so much. Wish she was still here teaching. She left and went back to India. India. Yeah. Um, but she taught us a lot and she was also very funny. She was quiet and we had a great time in her class. Now a teacher that was not my teacher, but I feel like in my heart was my teacher, Miss Gathers. Love her so much. Great advice. She's an English teacher. She's very smart, very intelligent. And some of them, some some of them, you know, days in high school I wouldn't have been able to make it without her. So love her much. Love her much. Um, my favorite teacher, even though it's several of them, but she's not really. I mean, she's the librarian, Miss Davis. That's my dog, man. That's my dog. Like she. She'll come out her way just to see like if I'm good. So if I had to choose somebody, probably be Miss Davis. Now to so all the teachers, we love you. Right. Yeah. With all like, our hearts. Like, I got way and more. it was a hard decision. It really it was. was hard. Hey, now now for me. Thank you for watching our video of our senior QA. We hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful school year. And don't worry, senior year will go by in a breeze. So just be mindful of how you spend your days and love every minute of it. And have fun. Stay tuned for more updates, tips, and advice from your favorite seniors.